Hello, I'm Forrester, and welcome back. We're back with the No Kerbals Died series, and in this episode I'm taking our Juno design to Minmus, but this time taking a Lunar module with us. So, prior to launch, I'm just selecting the crew, and I'll only be taking a single pilot out on the command module. The reason for that is that I will be doing a manned launch of the lunar module. A little bit unusual for me, but probably a little bit safer in this context. I'm also on for a night launch today, which is a little bit unusual, something a bit different, as we have liftoff. So, for those of you that saw the previous episode, you've already seen a Juno module uh, launch profile so I've sped the footage up somewhat as we have SRB separation also because in the night time there's not that much to see. So the launch plan for this mission is to get the Juno command module into orbit. I'll then be designing and launching the lunar module as we have main engine cutoff and LES separation. Those two will rendezvous in orbit of Kerman before we head out to Minmus, where hopefully we can achieve a Minmus landing. We've got a couple of missions here to support that, so plan to flag on Minmus, the Explore Minmus missions, as well as hopefully bring a green sandstone back with us. So at this point, just cruising up to Apoapsis. Go for a second engine cutoff and we're in orbit. So at this point I'm going to go ahead and design the X11 testbed. So key things here are I need to have that docking port up top, bring plenty of science with us and enough fuel for a Minmus landing. I'm also designing this to be able to land on the moon so I do need more Delta V on here than I would need just for a pure Minmus craft. And also conscious that this thing is going to be launched with a Kerbal inside it, so the usual Kerbal safety measures apply. We have a launch escape system on top, um, just in case of any launch emergencies. And there we have liftoff. So again, I've sped this footage up, not quite so much as the previous footage. Very, very straightforward launch profile. We're going straight up initially, just getting the power out of that lower stage. We've got main engine cut off. And then using this upper stage, which has got an absolute bucket load of Delta V on it, just to get into orbit. And there we have a sunrise, so accelerating into the sunrise. Separate the fairing there and the launch escape system. And then cruising up to the apoapsis. Now I have seen here that I'm going to have slight uh, excess of fuel, so rather than jettison the lower stage and burn up a bit of fuel, I'm actually going to keep that and use that just to help with the inclination burn that we'll need to do on the run into Minmus. So um, I'll use that fuel and then I'll ditch it. So here we're moving on to the mission phase and I've switched back across to the Juno craft as I just tweak my orbital rendezvous. We came pretty close on the ascent. Um, I waited for an optimal position before launching. Not the most controllable module, but we're getting there. And there we have it. The advantage of having two man modules is you can uh, point the docking ports towards each other, which does make things a little bit easier. And there we have capture. So at this point, I'm planning firstly the inclination burn that will get us on the same inclination as the Minmus. And uh, just using the last of that fuel, jettisoning the lower stage, and then pushing the apoapsis, wrong, the periapsis just back above, just so that the uh, orbit of the main craft doesn't decay. At this point I'm going to go ahead and continue that inclination burn that we've been working through. They're very clear to see the lunar module that we've got. And now planning for the encounter burn. 
If you are enjoying these Kerbal Space Program series, um, more than half of those watching our Kerbal Space Program series aren't actually subscribed to the channel, so if you are enjoying, please do hit that subscribe button. As we go into the long encounter burn to transfer the lunar module to orbit of Minmus. So this is a really useful mission for the space program, assuming of course that no Kerbals die. Um, we can get some very very valuable science points back from Minmus which will help with future missions, but also it tests out the lunar module design which will be useful for taking to the moon, and critically it brings back some funds, so having three separate missions on Minmus will be very very helpful for the funding situation. And there we have our encounter, so I'm going to time warp across to do a orbital burn just to get captured into Mimus. And I have clearly sped up this footage, that was um, a very very quick 10 days. <laughs> so I'll try and get a nice view of the lunar module as we go down, just collecting some science in orbit of Mimus before we descend. And there we have it undocked. So this is the X11 lunar module testbed. And here I'm just tweaking the orbital inclination because I know that uh, the moonstones that I'm looking for are not in every single biome. So just selecting a biome where I should be able to find one. And there we have the descent, very tentative descent the landing gear deployed. I do put lights on the bottom of each lunar module because if you end up in a situation like this where the sun was higher when you were higher up, sometimes it makes it a little bit easier to land. And there we have it, touch down onto the surface of Mimus. So I do like landing on Mimus. I think the, um, the gravity situation makes it very uh, forgiving, I think, for, uh, for making a landing as I EVA out to collect one of these sandstones. Now in the, uh, in the actual mission I did, um, I did get very frustrated because I couldn't remember how to actually pick up the sandstone so I ended up um, taking a pause, coming back to it later after I've had a good Google um, and realising you have to click on the Kerbal and not on the sandstone as we have takeoff. So again, just the low gravity of Minmus just makes this so nice and worry free. You know, if I'm on the moon, I'm constantly watching the spacecraft, looking out for mountains, etc. But the low gravity situation on Minmus making it much, much easier. So the lunar module that I've used here, not as fancy as an Apollo lunar model. I, I say fancy, the Apollo lunar module also very, very low tech, but this only has room for a single Kerbal on there, which is why I've brought the pilots with me for the mission today. If you are enjoying the Kerbal Space Program No Kerbals Died series, I've got lots of different missions planned for it, um, and I'd love to reach a wider audience. So if you are enjoying, please press that like button and share it with others who may enjoy it. So a very, very tentative docking manoeuvre happens. And there we go for capture. So at this point, just a little bit of transfer. So I'm going to move all of the excellent science points that we've acquired on the surface of Minmus to the main module. And I'm going to leave the lunar module in orbit of Minmus because we can reuse it at a later stage. So all I'll need to do is just refuel it and it should be good to go. So here I've gone for my uh, escape burn out of Minmus, back into orbit of Kerbin. And I'm going to go ahead and reduce the periapsis. Now I've still got quite a lot of fuel left, so rather than go all the way straight back into the atmosphere, um, which high speed atmospheric re-entry is always a little bit risky, I'm going to just reduce the periapsis and then when I'm close into Kerbin, I'm going to reduce the apoapsis just so that our orbital re-entry speed is not quite so high. So 
So all in all, we're on for a successful mission here, assuming that the heat shield can survive re-entry. 24 days out of the space center, which is a, a long mission. Um, as we're just reducing that periapsis. Still got over 1,200 meters a second of Delta V left, so plenty of power here to, uh, to continue. We got a little boost earlier from having the ascent stage from the lunar module, which just helped to have a little bit more delta V here left over. As we're deorbited, we go for third engine cutoff, and we face that heat shield for re-entry. Nice little view there from inside the cockpit. So very nervously watching the time warp on the top left. And here we go back to normal speeds. That surface speed coming down nicely, down past 1,600 meters a second. And looking like we should be on for a nice gentle splash down into the water below. Shoots are deployed. There we are, we're looking good at this stage. Yeah, we're looking good. So this has been another successful mission for our fledgling space program. Lots of science brought back, as well as the valuable funds from Minmus. Thank you so much for watching, and I leave you with a ubiquitous closing remark. No Kerbals were harmed in the making of this video.